Hey, what's up, guys? This is Gutex. I am here with my good friend and the winner of final round 14, Combo Fiend. Congratulations, you. man. You, you fucking, I can't believe how crazy that was, man. You went over there and you just dominated. What do you have to say? Oh, I mean, I, I was just really happy that, you know, the thoughts that I had and on uh, the way I played the game actually paid off, you know. I mean, with this game, we don't have the benefit of having the arcade anymore, so you don't know what people are doing. You don't know what kind of crazy shit they might come up with, you know? Right. So it was cool to see that the stuff that I had been working on was actually successful. So tell me a little bit about what you've been working on. I mean, everybody saw this wacky, I mean, I'm not going to call it a wacky team, but it's definitely not your run-of-the-mill team. You know, you didn't have a Sentinel, there was no Phoenix, there was nothing like that. This was just three relatively obscure characters up until you made them famous. I mean, how did that come about? Well, I mean, <laughs> as I was telling everybody that asked me about this before, um, when the game came out, well, before the game came out, you know, they were releasing a lot of character trailer videos, and, you know, they showed She-Hulk, and everybody thought, oh, my God, She-Hulk, what, what is that? And then I just saw that she could come man grab and dizzy you, and I thought, why would you put that in this game? That's <laughs> retarded, so I'm going to use that, because that looks awesome. And then... Uh, they showed another reveal of Spencer, and he was doing some combo, and then he picked the guy up off the ground, and I thought, man, that, that's so obnoxious too. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to use that as well. That you know, I'm gonna make it work somehow. I'm gonna make She-Hulk and Spencer work, and then thanks to my good friend Dash uh, playing Taskmaster, I was like, oh, this character's really good. I'm gonna add him to the team too. So, so tell me about the theory. Like, you tell me about your team synergy. How how do you make them work together? Why do you start She-Hulk on point? Why is Spencer anchor? How does that work? Well, see, the, the, the way that you saw the team, I actually had to work on that. Before, uh, I always started She-Hulk just because I think that she's just so aggressive, you know? She's just the perfect starting character. Uh, but secondly, I had Spencer before and then Taskmaster last. And I actually had to fix that order because Spencer has comeback factor. Taskmaster has comeback factor as well, but it's not as good as Spencer. So I had to work on that, you know, I actually had to sit there and work on, you know, DHCs, you know, delayed hyper combos, you know, in any order to make sure that they can all come in at any time and they could all link together. And pretty much I just worked on that, you know, I just worked on making sure that no one, no one dies. And if somebody does, how can you make up for that, you know? Hmm. Yeah. So then tell me, let's say that things don't go don't go right, and She-Hulk dies. Now you have Taskmaster and Spencer left. Now, what is the what is the strategy? Well, I mean, because She-Hulk died, and you have X Factor, the team kind of becomes stronger in a way. You know, um, Taskmaster. The the plan is to still rush down with Taskmaster, and you know, if he just happens to die, then I have Spencer who can just pretty much kill anything with the bionic arm. So I mean. The way that I think of my team is that each character is pretty much like a one-man army, but they all work together. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. What do you think then about everybody that's been complaining about Sentinel? I mean, you made it all the way to the top, and both you and Justin didn't have Sentinel in the finals. Do you think that Sentinel is not that good? Do you think Sentinel's totally beatable? Is your team specifically designed not to need Sentinel? What do you think? Well, Sentinel's good when he's X-Factored. You know, he's, he's pretty much like an easy kill character. You know, um, but if you actually learn how to do combos on him and you just learn to bait out his armor, armored attacks that are all punishable, then it's not so bad. I think that a lot of people, they just didn't want to put in the time to learn how to fight him. So then they just get mad, you know. He's not as threatening if he doesn't have X Factor, so, mm. yeah. Gotcha. So... Talking about the event, I mean, you know, you went in there, you mentioned earlier that you haven't played a lot of people, you know, there's no arcades, so it's not like you can just play a bunch of different styles. Um, was there anybody that surprised you over there? Hmm. Well, there were some original characters that I saw, you know, uh, Flash was playing Beautiful Joe, and that character was actually pretty cool, you know, <laughs> so he did some good stuff, very original stuff. Um, but for the most part, it was pretty much a lot of Magnetos, a lot of Storms, a lot of Sentinels, a lot of what we've been seeing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there were some Dark Phoenixes. I've, for the first time ever, I was able to fight against a Phoenix player. And yeah, that, that's actually a lot scarier than a Sentinel, I think.
So what do you do against Phoenix? What's your plan? Well, it was, as I said, it was my first time fighting one. So I said, you know what? You know, most people would say, you know, just run away for 100 seconds or whatever and let Phoenix just die. But I said, you know what? I want to see what this is like. So I turned it into Dark Phoenix, and the guy was almost able to render me out. So that alone showed me that it's scary. Yeah. And then what about, okay, so once you'd finally made it to winner's finals and you played Justin, I mean, everybody knows that Justin was the king of Marvel 2. I mean, not that you, you were no slouch yourself at Marvel 2, but I mean, Justin was up there for so long, and you know he's been dominating so far, at least around here. Uh, you know, at Wednesday night fights, except when you went, but you guys weren't there on the same night. Yeah, he, yeah, he said he wasn't going that week. I mean, I, I thought he was going to go that week, actually, and I asked him on Monday, hey, are you going to go to Wednesday night fights? Because, you know, I'll be there this Wednesday for sure. And he said, no, you know, I have personal obligations I have to fulfill, so I can't go. So, unfortunately, we, were, we weren't able to meet up, but we ended up meeting in Atlanta, so it's just as good, if not better. Were you surprised that it was you and him in the finals? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That's what man. we call a leading uh, question. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, me, me and Justin were talking about it, and uh, me and him actually think really similar, similarly about you know game mechanics and what's good in the game, uh, what's you know like how to make teams work and things like that. We we have a really similar concept. So since we both have that concept, it's just a matter of staying solid and not getting random out. So Peter, you defeated over 300 about 350 people came home with a nice fat stack of cash but did you was there anything else that you won in addition to the money yeah yeah okay so you know the beauty of final round is that larry uh actually puts a lot of thought into the prizes you know so yep. big shout outs to larry shout know. outs to larry this awesome. is final round 14 you know he's doing things amazingly well to yeah. make it that far i think that's the longest running tournament in the south yeah. You know, he's definitely doing it. This year he upgraded. Yeah, I it mean, was. It was just better venue, but still same old, you know, hype Larry. Right. Hype event. So it's good to see. Um, so, yeah, this year, um, you know, he was no slouch in the prizes. For our pools, we got, you know, pictures. So I got this Taskmaster uh, Marvel 2 Look picture. Look at that. Yeah, frame. And it just happened to be Taskmaster. They didn't. They didn't print that for you. It just no. That was actually there was one of Hagar, one of Jean Grey, one of uh, Arthur. So if you got lucky, that's what you got, you know. And then uh, I also got this for winning. <clears throat> this, uh, oh my gosh! This amazing. <laughs> this custom Spider Man, Spider -Man chalice. Cup? Yeah, chalice? Spider Man pimp chalice. Is it a? <laughs> is it a chalice or a pimp cup if you're in the ATL? <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess a pimp cup, right? Yeah, so, you know, a lot of work went into this. You know, thank you, Larry. This is very awesome. You know, it's, sometimes, you know, it's more fun winning the prizes than the, than the money, you know, for me personally. So. Yeah, the, the money comes and goes, but this will be here forever. Exactly, it's a trophy, so. Yeah. Yeah. You got to put it on your wall, man. <laughs> I got to create a mantle. Yeah. yeah, right when people walk in, they just see it. I know. Because this isn't the, the first the, one. Or the cup sees them. Right, yeah. Not, the you know, there you go. <laughs> yeah, because this is, this is not the first one. No, no, no. I have others, but yeah. Awesome. Well, Peter, thank you so much, man. Congratulations. Hopefully it's the first of many large victories. I'm sure it will be. Uh, Combo Fiend, first place, final round. You can check out uh, uh, Final Round's website, finalround.org. Check out Peter on Twitter. What's your, tw what are your, what's your Twitter? The, the, the Combo, Combo Fiend. Fiend. Yeah. The Combo Fiend. Some guy stole my name. Can't believe that. <laughs> 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 All right guys, we'll see you see you guys later.